Hello, and welcome back to Studio Binder. Today, we're going to go over the most used shot in cinema history. What the fuck are you talking about? The medium shot. No, not this one. A little closer. Not that close. Ah, there we go. So why isn't the medium shot getting more love? What the fuck? Before we get into the video, you should like us and subscribe. Are you ready? Ready to party! So, what is a medium shot? A medium shot typically frames a character from waist to head. There are all kinds of variations of the medium shot. From a medium two shot, like this, to a cowboy shot, which frames your gunslinger from below their holster to the top of their hat. It may seem straightforward, but there's a lot of subtlety to how it's used by skilled filmmakers. <coughs> Compare Wes Anderson's use of the medium shot with Michael Bay's use of the medium shot. Different, right? Now let's check out some creative uses of the medium shot to see what we can learn for our next projects. What? Let's start with the Coen Brothers' first feature, Blood Simple. By pushing from a wide to a medium shot, we get the sense of being voyeurs in this bar. It's almost like we're a few stools down, listening to them chat. Although, that might get us killed. But what if you just want to laugh? Medium shots are used in comedies because they are close enough to show how the characters react, but also wide enough to set up jokes. Case in point, the fake ID scene in Superbad. Sure, we go in close for the details, but look how much we get from staying in the medium shot. We can sense these characters' body language. Their fate is in McLovin's hands. I am McLovin. Uh-oh. Laughter is great, but what if it leads to love? Are you not entertained? When Harry Met Sally is a movie built on medium shots. Oh, hi, Sally. Sally, this is Harry Burns. Harry, this is Sally Albright. Every time they talk to each other in this movie, we sit in the medium shot and we watch them banter. The movie does this over and over. It makes the love feel real. While you may not be able to make every setup as dynamic as these masters, you can certainly do it better than Ed would. Get your gun ready. From all I've seen tonight, guns won't do any good. Studio Binder is a great tool for planning out all your shot lists and storyboards. This will make it so much easier to get the most out of your time on set. Oh, you think it'll work? Know of anything else to try? So remember to subscribe, and then comment with which medium shot is your all-time favorite. I'm going with this one from Titanic. I freaking love Titanic. 